Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three-minute rounds in the amateur middleweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, representing Team Underground, Aiden Collins. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, representing Padova Team, Matty Tech. Key. Welcome back, we're back into middleweight action here, Cage Warriors Academy 30 between Aiden Collins, one and two out of Team Underground with those black cycle shorts and, and knee pads against Medi Taki, four and three out of Padova team in the black Hayabusa shorts. Three three minute rounds, referee Dan overhead, he gets us back into the action and here we go. Straight away you say a big difference in physiques, height, reach and it's Medi Taki who immediately locks Collins up. And it was interesting to see Collins kind of initiated this grappling exchange, and he actually changed his levels to come down to the same size as Matty. A low blow here, I think, in the early going. Down overhead, he will just give Tacky time to recover from that. An occupational hazard of this sport. And we're going to get back on the way. Nice shot in by Taki to get in on that double sweep to the side. Now it's about Aiden trying to get back to a solid base. So watch the neck fights out of that. Strong grappling here in the early going from Taki. And Aiden's got to use his height here when he's trying to turn him around. Elevate. Nice little shoulder shot there from Taki. And again, Taki going for that outside leg reap. Taki now on the on the legs, but Collins threatening the neck. Big slam there. Double leg, but good job by Aiden to get back to his feet and keep a hold of that head. I mean, he's got a chance for a bulldog choke. Taki stayed onto that double leg Great trip. Good stuff here from Taki. And you mentioned bulldogs. Taki is coming out like a bulldog here. And he's done the smart thing. He stepped over that arm. He's now he gave it up to try to get to mount. But Aiden doing a good job of trying to lock him down so he's not taking a lot of damage in this mount position. Taki's got his head in the right spot. Now he steps over fully into mountain. Here he can land some big shots. Collins trying to escape. Collins did a good job of getting back to that. He's got to watch his neck as he's coming down, but he was able to get back up, and now he's in on that single. And using that to distract as he throws a right hand up top. And he gets separation. But again, Taki dives straight back on the legs. And he takes a good clean shot and gets deep in on those legs. He's able to get that lift. Oh, nice dump. Big slam there from Medi Taki. Now he's putting his forearm under the neck, the, to the throat of Aiden Collins here. And, and when we left you before the break, we were in uh, pro fights. These are amateurs again. So if you're wondering why this round seems to be flying by, that is because it is three three minute rounds. Matty Tacky going old school and just putting the hand over the mouth. Something I do in the room all the time. <laughs> and there we go then, Matty Tacky finishes the round strong. There we go then. Gonna get back into action here, second round. Down over Heady just checking both fighters have got everything they need. And we will get back to the scrap. Aiden Collins, Matty Tacky. And again, but good work there from Collins to... Ooh. And this is what I'm talking about. Collins was trying to time it. He knew the takedown was coming, so he threw that high kick. And good job controlling the head now. Nice work this from Collins. He looks to stuff this takedown. And Tacky in luck, but Collins, again, clears free. And he's, he knows what's going to happen, so he's throwing that kick. I still think an uppercut might be a more effective because he has the opportunity to circle away when he does it. He doesn't put himself in this kind of position. He's definitely trying to time that kick though, isn't he, as, as Taki goes for the shot. Got to be careful he doesn't catch him with the knee. 
Here we go then, Taki back on top, looking to lock the legs up. And he looks to be creeping towards Mount. He's almost there. Collins needs to be careful that when he turns, he doesn't give up his back here like he did. Taki with a hammer fist from top. And he's settling in. Adding the knees into the arsenal as well. You can tell exactly what Meditaki's all about. And I mean, Meditaki's smart. He, he settled in right on the upper chest of Aiden. It's going to make it tough for him to take deep breaths. It also makes his movement limited. For Aiden, he's got to look to try to get that underhook and kind of sweep out the back door. Manny going with a deep waist lock on the far side, and that's helping to control when Aiden starts to move around. He can kind of keep him in place. But with a minute left, I mean, this... These are, these are big, unusual shots for the knees on the ground, Nick. I, I'm just like this one, making sure it doesn't land on Aiden's head exactly. because it has that chance. And there he goes. He was using that to switch to set up that mount and he was able to get it in. And again, Aiden able to turn. Good job by Aiden to get into a double leg of his own. Now we'll see the takedown defense from Matty. Good work there from Aiden Collins. Weathers that storm and now he's got the single leg of Mehdi Taki. In danger of losing his shorts as well, Aiden Collins. Mehdi Taki able to break those hands and get that leg back to the ground and now he's gonna just Go right in for that double again. Look to sweep that outside leg. He uses that to be able to lock his hands. 10 seconds left. And I think this round is going to finish the way the first round did with Taki in the dominant position here. Now, I'm not coaching. I'm just saying if it was my guy, this is what I would be telling him what to do. If I'm Taki, though, I I've got to make sure I've set those shots up yeah. good. Maybe throw a punch to get those hands up and then take the shot and that will alleviate him from trying to throw that kick to come inside or throw an uppercut. Yeah, you don't want to get too predictable, do you? So here we go, third and final round coming up. You'd imagine Taki's probably two rounds up. Aiden Collins gulping in some, some deep breaths. What can he find here in his third and final round? Comes out with the kicks. He needs to keep that space between them. And again, straight away, throws a kick, gets taken down. And Meditaki's wasting no time. This, this round going straight to the ground and found. And Collins doing a good job of trying to tie him up. That said, Taki just locks down on that half guard. Able to take the back. Aiden's got to be careful that hooks don't come in. He's doing a good job of blocking with that elbow, and he's using the side of the cage, his right side of his body on the cage to make sure he doesn't. Oh, <clears throat> big slam again from Mehdi Taki. Impressive grappling here from this young man out of Padova team. And one of the things about Mehdi Taki is the amount of wrestling that he's been doing, you can tell this is just muscle memory. So he takes deep breaths, but it doesn't matter because he's already been trained. Okay, I just keep doing this. Yeah, he does not look fatigued, does he? I know he's taking big breaths, but he's not slowing down. The pace is constant. And he's settling in well. I mean, now it would be a good time for him just to look, to kind of post out, maybe try to capture that arm, start throwing down some punches off of that. There's, there's opportunities that he has here. Tries with the knees to the body as he was doing before. So he's got a minute and a half, and. This is all on Aiden to actually work his way back up and create some sort of scramble. We haven't seen Aiden threaten with anything from the bottom as yet, so he needs to, you imagine, has to find a way to get back to his feet if he's going to win this fight. And it's so hard to try to pull off any sort of just threatening submission when you've got the guy inside control. Yeah. So. A minute left then in this fight. And Taki is just relentless, making Collins thoroughly uncomfortable on the ground here, throwing all sorts of shots, just keeping him occupied. 
Kentucky looking like he was gonna maybe go for an arm triangle. Good job by Aiden to finally buck free to create some sort of scramble. And that's what he needed. Now with 30 seconds left, he needs to break free. Oh. I mean, maybe you just kind of jump that neck. Go for it. Got to do something. 20 seconds left. Taki's going to take him for a ride again. And that's going to be the punctuation mark you'd imagine on this victory for Medi Taki. Yeah, great bit of grappling by Medi Taki throughout each of the rounds. And he, he put the fight exactly where he wanted the fight. Yep. Bear in mind, I'm not a judge. I don't have any uh, control or decision-making abilities. I'm just seeing, saying what I said. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 30-26, 30-27, and 30-26. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Matty Tech. Key!